Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We've got another one of our uh, beer fun facts. Today we're going to talk about specific gravity. Um, it's closely related to Plato's scale, which we have another video and explanation for, but specific gravity is really good to know and utilized by the brewers, the brewmasters. Uh, much like what we talked about with our other video with Plato's scale, it's not really a huge uh decisive defining factor for selecting a certain beer but it is very important when brewing beer so the definition of a of specific gravity it's the ratio of the density of a sample to the dense of beer to the density of the water the ratio depends on the temperature and the pressure of both the sample and the water so when you're brewing you scoop out a little bit of beer uh, in the fermenter um, and that's your sample and then it, the scale uh, the formula is that compared to plain water uh, let's see the other thing you need to know about this is if temperature does affect this so if it's you know hotter or cooler uh, where you're brewing beer it will affect the um, specific gravity it says usually uh, an ideal temperature for measuring Specific gravity is 20 degrees Celsius for both the sample and the water. That's very important to know for consistency of reproducing a beer over and over again. And really and truly, that's about the gist of how it works. So the way the formula works is to get a what's called a true specific gravity, it's the sample divided by the water or over the water if you're doing a formula. Sample over the water equals specific gravity. Um, how do you do this? So um, they measure the density of the beer, the, the solution, the, the water, using a hydrometer. Um, like I said, it's basically you take the sample and the hydrometer kind of bobs up and down in it, and that will give you your specific gravity number. Um, and you'll, a lot of specific gravity numbers, you're going to see like a 0.9, a 1.023, a 1.044. Those are kind of common numbers that you're going to see um, with specific gravity. But usually it's somewhere around the one va value. Um, and like I said, the, the, the main gist of this is you want to be able to re reproduce a beer. And you, during the process, you want to make sure that there's either not either too much water, not enough water, and every beer is going to be different depending on the type of beer it is. You know, stout versus a, an IPA. So, anyway, that specific gravity, it's the ratio of density of the sample compared to water. So, that's it. Thanks for watching microbeerviews.com. Hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, kind of technical, nerdy, and a little bit on the brewmaster side, but everyone's always asking what in the world is specific gravity on these websites. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching microbeerreviews.com. See you again real soon.